So, structures, utility. Wait, what? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Jeez <laughs> Louise! Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, be on the lookout for plutonium, because that is what we drawing. need in order to uh, make our, <coughs> excuse me, our forge. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually spend some points. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to hit the F5 key. Uh, I've got five stat points, and we got uh, 23 combat, 31 engineering, and 18 science points. Uh, so in terms of stats, I'm going to put three in health and two in stamina. Probably won't be putting any more points into speed unless you guys tell me I should. Uh, we will eventually put a few more points into stamina later on, but right now I want to focus uh, mostly on health and secondarily on strength. Okay, let's look at our points here. So uh, for engineering, we're going to um, go to airlocks and habitation. And, um, oh, and let's get the shovel too. Okay, because we're going to need that to dig sand, uh, which we'll need to make glass and stuff. Uh, so that pretty much spends our engineering points. We have four points left, but we'll just sit on those for now. For science, uh, we want to work our way uh, to the 3D printer. Um, and that uh, pretty much spends all of our science points that we have available. We're going to uh, also go down this way so we can do the ammos, and we, we need to get the small solar panel uh, too. So those are the next priorities. For combat, we have 23 points. Uh, we're going to go uh, get the workbench because we need that to make um, some basic tools. And then we're going to do uh, this shard blade and then go to the crude metal axe. And that spins, uh, well, we still have seven points left. This is eight points, and this is eight points. Uh, the crab scythe, I don't think we're going to put any points in that because it does it's not a prerequisite for anything. I just don't see any point in, in doing that. Um, so, good. All right, so that takes care of our points. Let's get out of here. Um, now... The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go um, out and I'm just going to harvest quickly uh, the tree berries and the bushes and all that sort of thing for some science points and for some materials. So let me go ahead and get that knocked out really quick here. Let's go ahead and do a save point here. Um, so we went out and uh, I gathered some stuff, had to fight a few bad guys. And we've got uh, eight red fern berries and 11 blue palms. So we should be able to uh, turn all of those into bandages. And uh, I also picked up a little bit of salvage while I was out too. So we should be able to make the table. And we should also be able to make the, uh, hopefully we can make a large storage bin. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next. We have an extra stat point. Let's just put that, uh, let's put that into strength. And then we have more combat points and more science points. Let's look at those really quick. Uh, for the combat points, I think I'm going to, I mean, we can learn the pistol now, but the problem is we have no way to make it. Of course, I don't think we have any way to make the machete until we get the you know, the forge going too. So 
I mean, uh, let's just go for the pistol, I guess, because this is going to be a game changer once we can get it. And then... What's that? Oh! That's an asteroid. Nice. Okay, we might be able to get some plutonium for... Oh, shit! Is that coming... Oh, my goodness, that was close. <laughs> We might be able to get some plutonium from those three roids. Nice. Okay, that was great. Um, we'll go check those out here in just a little bit. I mean, if we can just get the plutonium, we, we'll be in good shape uh, for the forge. Okay, what were we doing? We were going to... Did I make all of those that we can make? Yeah, I did. Um, can't remember what else we were talking about until those... Oh, we were doing points. So we have more science points. Um, so let's put... Um, let's go ahead... We, we learned the printer, and we need, we're need we going to need this for the base, but we're going to need this to make laser cells. So I think we'll go ahead and do batteries next, and then we'll have to wait on that one. Okay, and then we'll we'll hang on to the rest of our points at this at this, at this, at this point. Hey, how about that? Okay, so we got a couple of these little bastards um, that have been kind of harassed me, but they're, there's two of them around. There's this one, and then there's an, another one that kind of kept coming around that direction. So we have to keep an eye on those guys. Um... Let's just go look at this one, because it is, like, right here. Something chasing me? I don't know. It sounds like it. Okay, this is a meteorite. It's green. Plutonium. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I guess it's not all plutonium. We need a total of, I think, eight. Okay, that's lithium, lithium, that's plutonium, that's plutonium. Let's pick up these rocks too because we can use those to make more fences. Uh, Alright, how much did we get? Eight, perfect, exact amount that we needed. Oh man, that was fortuitous. That was very fortuitous because, you know, I'm not really in equipped to go back into the beta mine again. I mean, we could do it, but it'd be rough, man, uh, because our knife is in such crap shape. Um, And, you know, I, I know I could make, like, an axe or something like that, but this is better. This is way better, actually. Okay, so, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and uh, make another... Wait, what did I just do? Stop it. Uh, let's make another rock wall. Oh, I'm missing one. Okay. I hope this rain isn't... Oh, it's a methane rainstorm. Hmm. Methane rain. I'll bet that smells wonderful. <laughs> uh, assuming this can't hurt me as long as... Okay, here's our buddy. As long as our suit isn't breached, I guess. Uh, now you want to go, don't you? So, you know, the problem with the knife when it gets... Oh. Okay. I was going to say, the problem with the knife and any other weapon when it gets... The durability gets down, I believe the the effectiveness of it you know it doesn't do as much damage i think let's um let's look at that for a second now it still says 10 i wonder if the give or take eight you know so when it's when it's almost completely broken i wonder if that subtracts eight damage when it's when it's fully repaired it adds eight damage i i don't know if that's what that means but that could probably that might be what that means um, okay, so I don't think the methane rainstorm is hurting us, as far as I can tell. I'm glad we can't smell it. Clear dehydration detected. Um, okay, so we have a, a little bit of dehydration going on. That guy's making me a little nervous. I wish we had one more freaking rock so we could build another fence. Well, you know what? That's not super important right now. Let's just let's proceed and keep an eye on that guy. Uh, all right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to... Uh, we want to smelt our plutonium, and let's cook up that meat there. Keep an eye on our friend over there. And now we should actually be able to make the the thing. The thing, yeah. Let, that's that's pretty specific. We're gonna make the thing, uh, the forge. <laughs> the forge. Okay. Hi hydration and nutrition is not good. So let's get back in our little hut here, and we're going to drink this water. And we're, we've got four, uh, 14 pieces of meat, so we're really doing quite well on 
food. And we're doing good on health too, so we just need to... Uh, we can get some more water out of here. I am constantly pressing the tap key instead of the F2 key to open my inventory. It's not a lot of water, but it's a little bit more. Whoops. Alright, let's come in here and we'll drink Hydration that. Levels are now and we're actually in pretty good shape now, hydration wise. Uh, okay, so here, dude, if we're going to do this, let's just do this. I don't have time for your messing around here. Okay, we're going to go after you because we have full health now. Our hammer is in really crap condition, though. Come here, you little bastard. If you're going to run away, then run away. Don't come back. Because if you do, I'll kill you. Okay. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and make our forge. So we need to get our plutonium out of here. And let's go into our build menu to utility to forge. And we'll go ahead and put the forge over here. Right there is probably as good a place as any for it. And let's build it. All right. Nice, man. This is a game changer, you guys. This is a big game changer for us. Okay, let's take a look and see what all we can do in here. So we can make the shovel. I think we need the 3D printer to make the pistol. Um, so... All right, let's go back in here. Can we save? Yes, we can. Okay. Now, you know, one thing that I really, really don't like about Osiris is I hate the melee. I absolutely hate it. And it could be fun, but the hitboxes are so screwed up. You know, you have to be, and I, I, I probably already talked about this, but, you know, you have to be right about here-ish to hit something. If you're any closer, you don't hit it, even though in reality you would. You know, and it's just, it's, it's just bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to throw that out there. I'm enjoying the game overall. I really am actually enjoying the game overall, but that's one little, little, or maybe not so little complaint that I, I currently have about it. They need to do something about that. I completely understand distance. I mean, if I'm too far away, I should be able to hit it. But if I'm right up in something's face, I should be able to stick this knife right up its gullet. So, yeah. Um, Phoenix Rising, hopefully you're watching my video. You're probably not. But, you know, if you are, please take note. Okay. Um, now, what are we going to do? We've got the we've got the, the thing, the forge. We've got the forge made. Uh, let's look in here again. So, uh, what do we need to make the 3D printer? Let's take a look at that next, because we need that to make the pistol. Once we have the pistol, then that, like I said, that's going to be a big game changer for us. So the printer requires rubber, glass, and steel, and aluminum, which we have plenty of. Okay, so to get glass, we need sand. To get steel, we need magnesium and iron. Um, so let's just make that right now. We need steel for a lot of things. Uh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to make a bunch of steel yet because we need to make sure we conserve our stuff. Oh, there's a there's a minotaur over there. Okay. And one of these little tellerpod thingamadoodles too. They're they're little bastards. They're all little bastards. Some of them are big bastards, some of them are little bastards. Some of them are medium-sized bastards. Let's see what these guys are gonna do here. Yeah. Um, can we access this from in here? No. Well, yeah, I guess we kind of can. They can still get us from over here, though. All right, so what else did the printer require? Let's look again. So the printer is... Uh, we need glass. We got the steel. I think I already have rubber in here that we looted. Uh, yeah, we got eight things of rubber. Oh, we have, a we have one thing of steel in here. Let's grab that. Sure, nothing sneaking up on us. I don't know. Maybe those guys don't even know we're here because they're just kind of look like they're wandering around. This little guy's probably gonna aggro on us. Our knife is so in such bad shape right now. 
Come here, dude. Other side. Come around. You gotta come around. He's stuck. What's the big boy doing? Okay, he went over the ridge, so I don't think we need to worry about him. What you gonna do, boy? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. I didn't think we'd killed him. Alright, so um, let's look in here again. Let's back up into here. 3D printer. We've got... Uh, the only thing we need is glass. We've got the steel in here. So let's make ourselves a shovel. Which is aluminum and one steel. Oh shit! You... <laughs> Son of a! Did we kill him? Yeah, when he makes that little squeal noise, that must mean that we've killed him. Alright, let's uh, cook up some meat in here. Okay, we got another, another two of them coming in. Doggone it. These guys are such a pain in the ass. Okay. Come here. We're probably going to get Minotaur's attention too. I wonder if we could like kite these guys away, like just run and have them follow us and then kind of circle back around kind of idea. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. We didn't have a ton of stamina at this point. Let me a little fart. I can't, I can't go hog wild on these guys because of you know, there's a bunch of them for one thing. But our knife is just not in good shape right now. Okay, those two are dead. I don't know what happened to Minotaur. Oh right, you know what? We have we have three more um, meteorites to check too. I forgot about that. Ah! Okay, these guys are dead. Let's get their meat. Tasty parasite steak. Good stuff, man. Uh, all right, let's go back here. So, um, grab the shovel. And we'll put that in the slot number four. I think we can just sit right in our hut here and dig sand. And it doesn't actually dig the sand, which is a little cheesy. <laughs> Well, you know, it is, it's not a, a terrain, uh, terraforming, you know, type of game. It'd be cool if it was. So we get a little bit of science for this. And I, I, I heard one guy was saying that, uh, you know, when you're hanging out in your, your hut at night and you don't have none, anything else to do, just dig a bunch of sand. You get a bunch of science points, you get a bunch of sand. Um, and, I mean, makes sense to me. Probably what we'll do tonight. Okay, let's watch out for that dude. All right, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna make some glass. I'm just gonna make all the glass from with all the sand that we got. Can you use this as a weapon? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, hydration and nutrition is getting low. What we're going to do is we're going to, oh, I was going to make some more bandages. Oh, I guess we're out of the red berries. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and eat Bottle's some of these. Get lots of water, but take a little bit of health damage. Okay. And now let's eat uh, some meat. To counter that, and our health is back in reasonably good shape. Not perfect, but reasonably good. Okay, let's go uh, make some more meat here, since we can. And oh, I guess we could have made glass in here too, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now we got glass, and I think we have enough guys to make ourselves a 3D printer. 
So that, I should have actually probably put the this over here to continue our little enclosure, but that's all right. Um, we will put the 3D printer over here. So utility 3D printer, let's turn it, uh, is that the front? I think so. And there we go. That's what's gonna allow us to make our pistol. Okay, so, I, s I don't know, does this guy detect us or not? Is he just kind of coming this way? He's, if he hasn't detected us, he has now. All right. Hopefully you're not like a really high level dude. way this guy's not quite as hard to hit as the elida thing that guy's a pain in the ass to kill the knife's just not doing very much damage right now Kind of hurt, but we're not seriously hurt yet. All right, come on at me, bro. Got him. All right, he was a level two. He gave us three pieces of meat, though, so that's not bad. All right, is that it for the enemies for the moment? I think so. Okay, 3D printer. No power requires solar panels. Son of a... All right, did we... Uh, here, can we save? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, did we learn the solar panel? We did not. Do we have science points? We do. Solar panel is learned. Okay. Uh, we have nine combat and seven engineering. So for engineering... Uh, we're just holding out for that stuff for now. Um, but we have more combat. So we could... Let's let's unlock the machete. Okay. Can we make the machete in here? Pipe. Really? We can't? Why the hell can't we make the machete in the forge? Oh, I bet you we have to make it in here. We can't even open it up. All right. So, what do we need to make the solar panel kit? Uh, right here. We need one carbon, and we have everything else. We have carbon, too. Um, in fact, we have a bunch of carbon that we haven't smelted yet because we can't do that in the furnace. We have to do it in the forge. So, structures, utility... Wait, what? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Jeez <laughs> oh, Louise! That was close! Okay. <laughs> I guess when you, uh... Ask the game for, for plutonium, it, it obliges you. Oh man, that was close. Goodness gracious, you guys. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get some more plutonium. And whatever else this is gonna give us. And we do have two more uh, meteorites. Um, one kind of landed over that way and one kind of landed over that way. I think our, our handheld scanner thingamadoodle will show us where that's at. Oh man, that was close, holy crap. Whew, okay, uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's craft that and get some more plutonium and let's grab our meat that's right next to our plutonium because, you know, hey, there's nothing wrong with putting your food right next to plutonium. I mean, you know, that's what everybody does, right? That's just what you do. All right, let's eat this. How's our water thing? It's, it, it's getting close. We're not in, in bad shape at the moment for dehydration. Okay, let's go back to here. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, we need a carbon, right. We were gonna do carbon, so if we come here, let's go ahead and where is the carbon? Right here. So let's just turn all of our carbon into ingots. We might as well do our lithium too. And let's grab one of these and put it in our inventory. And now we should be able to queue up the uh, 
Uh, where did it go? Here, the kit thing. Awesome. Okay. And we have ourselves a solar panel kit. Whew. Okay. I'm just a little bit on edge right now. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, so for the solar panel thing, um, let's go to utility and small solar panel. And let's... Uh, does it actually matter which way we put it? Like for the sun? I don't know if that matters or not. Uh, but let's... Um, yeah, we might as well just put it right here. I don't see why not. Since the 3D printer is the only actual thing that needs it. Show range. Okay, so that... We have to remember that that doesn't go beyond right about here if we decide to put powered stuff up over there later. Yeah! Dang! What? <laughs> It's a creepy looking guy. Oh, and he's bringing his bros in now, too. Of course he is. Son of a bee. Okay. So, we have power uh, for our 3D printer. The question now is, do we have the materials we need to make the actual pistol? Uh, you guys, I did not invite you to my party. You need to leave. See, this would have been a good time to have our pistol, huh? Do that. Our knife is just about broken. In fact, I'll bet you this is going to do more damage than the knife at this point. Just because it's so in such bad shape, you know? Get out of here. All of you. All y'all. I'm trying to make a pistol. Guys are cramping my, my style here. Did we kill that other little one? Uh, no, he's still moving around over there. guy is hard to kill. All right, let's, um, let's... Oh, we got little bandages. Let's just use these because they're cheap and easy, right? All right. Now, uh... We need to kill this big guy here. All right, he's dead. Now, isn't that other little bastard still around? Oh, yeah, he's right here. He's stuck on the stuff. Now he did. Okay. Oh! Um, which way are they going? That was, that's four. Very cool. All right, we're going to have a lot of minerals, guys, that we can mine from those things uh, when the time comes. All right, now, what do we need for a pistol? Oh, we make the chisel here. We can make the machete. Uh, the pistol, the pistol. Here we go. Uh, we need... Oh, my God, we need a lot of stuff for that. Um, plastic circuit boards, wires. Inflatable dome kit. We can make one of those. That that gives us like a bed, which will help heal us. Dragon tooth. That only that has 25 damage, but it only has 2% critical hit. What's this do? This has 20 damage and 20% critical hit. Wow. That's 25 and 10. Oh, I'm liking the machete, and we can actually make one too. The thing is, though. Okay, so this... Does, wait a minute. Does this mean we can make this stuff even though we haven't learned it? Or is it just showing up... Just showing us everything it can make? Twenty-five damage. 
So if I'm reading this right, this, this is only going to lose two points of damage when it's almost broken. But it has, and it does high regular damage, but it has crappy critical. I think that's what that means. This has reasonably high damage and 20% critical, which is really good. And we would lose only eight points when it's max damaged. So this seems like an overall, like a, a really good choice. And since our melee weapon is just about toast, we're going to make one. Hope that wasn't a mistake, but well, it's not a mistake. I, I just mean that from the standpoint of, you know, the materials that we need to make this, some of this other stuff we also need to make. Uh, we can now make a new chisel. It just requires some more steel. Um, you know what I would like to do, though, is I'd like to make the repair table. Can we save again? We sure can. All right, you guys. Well, um, we are out of time here, so I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. Um... I'm going to work on getting... Oh, doggone it. Is our thing done yet? Ooh, it is. Yes, it is. All right. I got a new toy for you, buddy. Look at this thing. Nice. Fair dehydration detected. Nice. Okay. Love it. This is a much nicer melee weapon. I'm digging it. Okay, so guys, what I need to do... Uh, I think we need to make the science station, chem station thing, right? In order to make plastic. So, chem station. We need five steel and seven glass. Okay, we should be able to do that, no problem. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the chem station. And then... Um, I'm going to work on making, you know, plastic and wire and all the crap we need for the pistol. And then, you know, by that time, it's probably going to be night. I wonder if we should go ahead and just make one of these. I think we're... Yeah. You know what? Let's make let's make a dome before I let you go. Let's make a dome. So we need cloth. Is that all we need? Because the thing about this is it has, it actually has a bed in it, and the bed can will actually heal us for a little bit. All right, so to make the inflatable dome, uh, we click on it here, and let's turn it around so it's going this way. And maybe hold it back just a little more, too. We want it to prevent bad guys from coming in. There we go. Oh, that was fast. Just in the nick of time, too, man. Severe dust storm. Okay, so this resets our spawn point, and it gives us 15 health. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Uh, all right, you guys. I believe that is it for this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually probably going to go back into the hut. Oh, shit. Ouch. Um, and get the shovel out and dig a bunch of sand um, so I get some science points and have something to do overnight. And uh, then um, in the when we come back in the next episode, what we're going to do is continue working towards making everything we need for the pistol. Uh, so that includes, you know, a, a chem station and then whatever other resources uh, we have to do to make everything work, okay? Um, I think that also means we're going to have to go out and get some gas because we need gas like chlorine, I think, and hydrogen, is it? to make plastic or something I can't remember but it, you know it'll tell us when we get into the station um, into the chem station all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next one bye bye